Hey everybody, welcome back to City Bus Manager. Hope you're having a great day today. I just had a little break from my holiday weekend. It was nice. Didn't have enough time to do any recording, but uh, hey, we're, we're getting back into it for at least a little while. I don't know exactly how many more videos we got of the game, but it's still fun. So uh, we still play it. That's how it works. So at the end of the last video, um, we left with about 42,000. Now we're up to about 43.7 thousand. And I feel like financially with this kind of income per day, as you can see, we're going to be making a lot more money. This is just going to keep going up. And today is going to be no different. I suspect we'll probably get ourselves over 90 grand made today. So we should have a lot left in our finances. Because of that, I think I can probably start lowering ticket prices even further. But the thing about lowering ticket prices is it gets people excited about using the bus. Willingness of the population to use public transport is currently sitting at 68%. I feel like if that's going to happen, we got certain buses like the Detroit Connector, for example, which is very full. Despite this, like this bus over here is on the same route. This is the Detroit Connector too, but this one's very full. So there are certain routes where I do need to kind of bring more buses into it, I feel. And um, like it, it, I don't know if it's just like if I hit an additional bus and then I kind of adjust the timetable, right? So we got to figure out exactly when is the Detroit connector super busy and then make sure that we're staffing it accordingly. The shift schedule, it does an okay job. I mean, it, it really just takes everything and does it automatically. And I, I actually kind of dig it. Um, it does make the thing, like it kind of makes the game a little easy and it kind of, to be honest, it gives me nothing to do pretty much. I mean, I just, I look at my buses and I say, okay, yeah, you need repairs or you need fuel or whatever. And that's basically my job now is just to like, look at the buses and say, which, what needs repaired and to make it happen at nighttime. It's, it's nice because like everything's coming back and everything needs washed. Everything needs, you know, gas. <laughs> You know, everything just needs stuff. Uh, so there's stuff for me to click on, stuff for me to do. But this period of time, it's kind of just like let the time run at max speed and watch it go. I can also take a look and just see how many more buses do I have sitting around. And then I can look at it and see whether or not they have schedules or not. And so if they do have schedules, then I know they're not an extra bus. And so I actually, even though I've got a few buses sitting here doing nothing, they aren't doing nothing. They are ready to go for another shift. So I don't have any extra buses and I would actually kind of like to start getting new routes, new routes, routes, roads. I'd like to start getting them um, over here in Windsor. So I, I kind of want to maybe extend a little loop that goes this way and then maybe one that goes out this way and brings it into the center, one that goes this way and brings it into the center. You know, there's, there's opportunities to do that. And um, this little international crossing here. Yeah, this is, this is like the, you go into here, and then um, this is where the toll booth is for the bridge. So you, you pay the toll for the bridge, and then you all get merged onto this highway, which takes you across the bridge over here, uh, the Ambassador Bridge. There you go. Now you know how Detroit works. And then you, you swing around, and then you go in, you pay your toll here. Or if you're if you're a truck, if you're a car, you just kind of keep going, pay your toll here, right? That's nice. Everything is everything is on the map, and it looks beautiful. It's just it's the Detroit that I know, right? So anyway, what I want to do is I think I'm gonna get a couple of double decker buses. The D Detroit Connector Route Three. Detroit Connector, I think for sure needs another bus. So we're gonna say Detroit Connector add an additional bus. And it looks like all of these are like ready to go and operational, but they all had another job. So I'll have to see how that works. So let's just click one of these buses and um, we'll see if they just, you know, they just jump on the line whenever it's like 840. They're going to jump on the line. That's going to hopefully help that out a little bit. Um, so we're going to need we need more buses is what I'm saying. We need more more to add to our fleet. So I'm going to go in, get another couple of large lots, kind of like this. Can't do another one because of the way the roads are designed in this game. Uh, I could do it on this side, I suppose. Just one. But I think this will be fine. So with 56,000, 
We can go second hand. Now we do have other buses, right? We don't have to keep going with the 7900G. There's other opportunities, but I happen to like the 7900G and it keeps everything consistent in my fleet. And I, I kind of tend to decide on everything being consistent, being, being good. Um, but we do have slightly more seats in this model, but they don't have as many passengers. And that's how it is with the double deckers. The double deckers have way more seats, like almost double the seats, just slightly less on the passengers. So I was thinking about these double decker buses, and I'm, you know, like, you know, DL05 sounds like a good bus, but we we could maybe get um, a different model. We could maybe get different double decker buses potentially. Uh, and maybe some of that are more comfortable. Even the articulated buses. There might be some that are more comfortable. Let's just see about getting new articulated buses. I'm, I'm, I want a consistent fleet. But that no, there's nothing that says I can't just replace my existing fleet with a whole brand new bus. And, um, you know, just keeping all the old stuff just for the sake of doing so. It doesn't really seem like a very good idea to me. So, well, uh, as the game progresses, we will see... Probably don't need this many people on the front counter right now. As the game progresses, we will see if um, any buses show up that are just objectively better than the ones we have, and we can work towards replacing our entire fleet. That's something to do, right? I mean, now that the game is scheduling everything for me, that is something to do. So just go ahead and do that. New bus unlocked, the 0405G. All right, we'll take a look at the 0405G. So 44 and 90. And this is a double decker bus. No, this is an articulated bus. So it just doesn't hold as many as. Yeah, it just it's 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 just bad. It's, it's it's not bad. It's just um, it's just not as good as what I got. So we'll keep looking at it. You know, see if we can't get anything better. This lobby's working out great. I think it looks good. I think it looks great actually. Um. It could probably use, I think, one more television screen for over here. Just for like for people who are facing this direction and whatever, they, they can see it. But like there's screens all over the place, letting people know what the wait time is, right? So Yeah, looking good. So I'm gonna let this run just for a little while to see if I can unlock any more buses. And to see if any other research pops up too, because they're at 349, so 350. As soon as we get the 350 marker we should have this research unlocked as well as this one and you know then we get to 425 we'll get this 10 percent done so there's there's certainly stuff to research and i could just spend money on that so let's unlock more buses and the new one i just got access to was the urbino 18 that's not too bad it's it's still lower capacity for a slightly lower price um, it has two more seats, but I'm hoping that this final bus that I'm researching is going to be just, again, objectively better than what I've already gotten. That's what I'm hoping happens here. We're about to sell 23,000 tickets, and that's going to give us 92 grand. So we'll have plenty of money to start this transformation of our route, right? So there's the 0530G. 0530 G and that is gonna let me have 46 and 145 this is decent this is decent because the extra two seats or the extra four seats over the 7900 G but this this one we unlocked first definitely has the highest oh wait I'm sorry I take that back there's this bus where did you come from the 05 or 4 or 5 G this is what we just unlocked right 0530 G I don't know. I think th this is our better bus, right? This is the one we want. Highest capacity, and it has more seats. So what we should do, 0405G, that does sound like the one we just unlocked. Um, we should look for secondhand versions of that 0405G and and get that into our fleet, right? We can start replacing our fleet with this. We, we don't have any secondhand at the moment and I don't know like how secondhand works because it seems like there's only two pages here no matter what I do and so we may not be able to get exactly what we want secondhand so I'm going to grab another bus brand new and we don't have any template for this one because it's uh well because it's brand new I and mean, they'd never had this bus before but it looks pretty good maybe, maybe it's a higher higher tech level state of the art right here's our digital readouts of what bus it is, right? So we can just go into our bus color, 
Maybe we change up our style a little bit here. Maybe we explore a different color. Just slightly. Maybe we go like a deeper blue. Huh? Or just Detroit. We could go red too, but I kind of like blue. This little, just slightly deeper blue. And that's another way to distinguish it from the others. And then on the top of the bus, we could make it white. That's something different, right? I'm going to do, for, do a white top on the top here. I, I think that's okay. Um, as far as any, any any stuff like this, um, you know, we could we could maybe put something. I, I I keep putting like these little stars or trophies and stuff, and I'm thinking this time we do a little duck. <laughs> we do a little duck, and we do it kind of uh, maybe in with this light here. Maybe the the duck lights up on this light. We go like that. And then on this side, oh, I want to flip it over. Oh, can I flip it over? I want it to face forward, not backwards. Uh, I don't know if you can do that. I can adjust the size, which now that I've done that, it's going to be a different size than this duck. So I guess we just do one duck. One duck on one side and a star on the other. How's that sound? All right. It's just it's just these little silly things. You know, maybe a tr maybe what are this little ribbon. Yeah, we do this little ribbon right on the right on the light. Just make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Right on the light. There we go. So a ribbon and a duck. This is an award-winning duck bus. All right. And then speaking of which, we'll call it duck bus. Duck. Duck bus. Save locally. This is our new duck bus uh, pattern right here. Okay. So as we replace our fleet with this new duck bus. We'll be able to instantly see which bus is the duck bus too, which is going to be good. Um, now, if I want to go into the shift scheduler, if I was to just put this to work, it's automatically going to pop it into the Detroit connector and we can get it in service and working immediately. We can start trying to sell some of these other buses that are like high mileage. This one's okay. Uh, like this one here. We can start. Whoa, what happened? What happened? What? Uh, what happened? I think I think I found a bug. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. Oh, it quit. That's why it literally crashed on me. All right. So apparently the duck bus was just too powerful, right? This is just too much. The duck bus is just it's, it's too much for the game to handle. <laughs> apparently. Uh, no, I had to go all the way back. We actually don't have all the research for all the articulated buses and the 0405G was already unlocked this whole time. So uh, I'm just buying another one. And um, thankfully, we when we save the template, it saves it to a, like as, a, as an actual file. So even though the game crashes, you still have your templates. So I can just go in and uh, make another duck bus. So there it is. We'll get it on the schedule like that and uh, good to go. I also may need to add another bus to the Detroit connector. Just take a look at this really quick. Like, this is the thing that's weird. This part, right? This bus, completely full. But, like, barely utilized. Uh, barely utilized, right? Like, it's like they're all riding one bus instead of getting spread out. Which is a little bit... Weird, yeah, 0530G. That's, that was the new bus we got before. I was right. Anyway, um, so we're going to start transitioning our fleet into these because they're just objectively better than these. They have more seats and more standing room. And um, we can start with, I think, really high mileage bus like this one here. We could say 291998. We could try to sell this. Um, and I bought it for 20700 So maybe we can get... You know, like 22.5 out of it. We could sell it at a profit. So that sounds like a good idea. We could try that. Um, we got a bunch of buses over here that I can maybe start, like get washing, and there's nothing really to repair here. Uh, the little bus that was in the in the garage just now, that just needed a new wiper. So that was pretty easy. I just did that. It's going to need new tires soon, too. Probably need to look at replacement parts. I haven't bought them in a long time. But the last time I bought them, I bought a lot of them. And so it's kind of like I had a big bulk order. And it doesn't seem like I need anything. So we'll just leave it out the way it is. Uh, yeah, so as we as we get offers on the bus, we'll... Uh, I'll start transitioning them out. But I suspect that we'll have a bunch of money today. Because we're going to get 92000 for selling 23000 tickets. That's just... You know, that's going to be a whole lot of money. 
it's enough for three brand new buses i'd rather again not have brand new buses if i can if i can get second hand then that's better but the 0405 g is what i need and just a matter of finding that in the second hand it's it's probably not something that i'll have very quickly so let me let this run for a little while and um again i want to start maybe getting some double decker buses too eventually um this guy's offering 19.5 i'm pretty sure i can get more than that because i'm that's just how i roll i'm gonna get more than that all right let me let me just let this run for a while i'll be right back all right so um let it run for a little while we did get our ticket sales so we're up to 117,000 now after purchasing another duck bus so this is the 0405 g we already had and we've now purchased another duck bus which is uh this one so the the other existing one is already out on the road and i'm wondering if i can see it as an icon here detroit connector is getting like super usage again and only one bus and the, i guess well okay i guess multiple buses are now we, we probably need even more buses on this route and again as the um willingness to use public transportation goes up your bus utilizations continue to go up so we, we just need to add an additional bus to this route too so we'll get another the other duck bus we'll go out and and do it and we're probably gonna need more bus drivers because we have more buses on the same routes so uh i'm gonna look to do that i'm not sure anybody has this 0405 g and uh so i just keep buying them brand new i i don't know about that like I, i'd like to maybe you know i could buy two of them at once i guess so we'll buy two more brand new here and um i think we'll look for second hand for the rest of them but um just get a couple more added to our fleet so that i can get them in and put them to work so we have two more brand new buses brand new duck buses um we get research done here too reducing dirt um because we got the trophies are up to 500 now so i've started to get all the research done which queuing up four researches at a time i would usually say that's not a good idea because your researches would get overloaded but i've got three of them and if i just let them go a little bit see they're kind of getting stressed out right now but they've been doing four at a time so once they're done with this run i'll just sort of kind of take it easy on research for a little bit and maybe unlock this whole thing and let everybody work here i'm not sure how our ratings were uh marketplace they just keep offering me less money for this bus i did sell one um i sold another a different one so i've replaced now two of the 7900 g's and i've uh just added i, I got we're net two I, i've bought four of these so we're net positive by two buses basically um and then uh i'll go try to sell this one too and we'll try to get like 25 let's just go 25 as what it will list it as it's like a psychological good number to pick it's really no different than 25,100 or anything but it's psychologically everyone likes those nice even numbers right so there we go we have a new offer now oh, this is just an old old notification that won't go away uh research again we have like reducing fuel consumption all this stuff just lowers our costs right and so maybe I need uh let's see let's get one more bus driver there you go and uh yeah i don't know i think maybe we just focus on the bus drivers i i, I don't i don't know about like there's no necessity for me to get another researcher right maybe we get the more another researcher and then as we hammer out more research it just uh we can start letting them go i don't know uh they're they're not going to be as effective at their job anyway let's we'll just take a look at their stress levels like what are they what are they looking at for stress levels uh researchers yeah three of them are in the yellow here and if you stress them out too much then they'll start demanding more pay and i just i'm not really interested in paying people more money if i don't have to uh we just automatically schedule the shifts and uh because we have added more buses so Maybe that'll be something that we need let's reduce reduce wear and tear a little bit more for three of you working on a single research that should be pretty quick it shouldn't cause you too much stress with just one single research like that hmm you know the way this is looking i would say that these guys are like bitcoining this 
by that, I mean that they're all working on the exact same problem to try to beat each other rather than working efficiently. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe that's uh, maybe it's not good to do this. Um, let me just see. I'll bring this over here and uh, you know, just kind of move all my researchers into the same room. Um, somebody said I need a dedicated room. I don't need a dedicated room. It doesn't absolutely don't need dedicated. Um, but if you just have, you know, like we can have like a couple of conference tables and we can, you know, like we can always up our decoration rating. It's not that good, you know, 53%. I just wonder how they're calculating this. How are they calculating the, uh, does not find the way. That sounds like a you problem, bro. That ain't my fault. Now I want, I want more for that bus. Maybe I don't deserve more for that bus, but I want more for that bus. Look, I've moved it. Now get out. There you go. Bye. Uh, uh, yep, good. All right, so we'll put this back. Now they should be able to move around. Good. Um, let's get in a couple more armchairs for people to sit down. We can just be like more chairs for all of you. There you go. More chairs for all of you to sit down. Yep. On the side too. This is just a big old lounge area and meeting area, which I don't know. I feel like the conference tables are arranged more like a lunch table than a conference room, but it is what it is. Uh, you know what? Maybe just because it looks terrible, we'll use these big brown ones in here. Like, who wants to use the giant brown ones? You know. Uh, let's see, we're at 502, so this is it. I think we've maxed out our trophies. We can now have as much research as we want. That seems to be how that works. It's really unfortunate that that's how research works, because I figured now I'm just stressing out every researcher instead of, you know, them splitting the task, you know? I feel like if I've only got one technology researching, I should only be using one researcher to do it. But it, it does seem like they all work on the exact same thing, and... You know, whoever gets it first wins. It doesn't seem like they're actually contributing to the same. I don't know. I can't tell. Graphically, it doesn't make sense to me right now. Uh, okay, so details. So enough free seats is the biggest complaint we have. And I, I'm kind of hoping that tomorrow is different because we're going to start putting these new buses to work. And for the second hand, I don't see any 0405 Gs. So should I start getting the double deckers? Should I start buying it? Like, let's see if there's no this, uh, this. Let's see. We we researched all the double decker buses already, and uh, it looks it looks like we need more trophies. We haven't maxed out our trophies. It's you can, def you can definitely go higher, um, but we've maxed out pretty much all the other research all the way through here, and then we can expand our premises again if we want to. I'm not really sure if there's a need to get more so different solo buses, but I mean not that expensive to try it uh, i think i'll wait on that it's fine um so the detroit connector can we i mean can, can i see how many buses are are on this route without going in to edit the route yeah so this bus has timetable so up to 75 is what it says but that's just the flat lie we have eight buses on the route required oh that's why we need eight buses in order to have this. So maybe we don't have eight buses on the route. The Detroit connector does seem like a big bottleneck here. So I think we need to keep adding buses to that route. It does seem like that is the the premier route for everyone to take. Uh, so we'll go in Detroit connector. We'll add an additional bus to it again, and we'll pop that one on there. And then I just want to say this. So if there's a way for me to maybe specifically determine you know, like the actual times in which this happens like I need I need eight buses right so um, if I go into the route and go edit timetables advanced settings um, timetable is set by the client you can adjust the travel time between stops if necessary yeah but I can't do that so I mean I just have to have all right this is good enough you can have that bus uh, let's go ahead and get another one. So marketplace, it's not the next day yet. So it, it, it's possible that an 0405G comes in second hand, but I'm going to need more buses anyway. So I'm just going to, I'm okay with buying brand new ones. They're, it, I have the money, you know, 
buy one more brand new one to replace the one we just sold. Let's refuel you. Let's get you cleaned up. Let's get you cleaned up. Yep, you can get cleaned up. All my medium buses over here, they actually look... And now that I'm so used to these ones and seeing these all the time, these buses look like the small buses to me. <laughs> they don't look like they're... Uh, they don't look like they hold very many people, even though these are the medium ones. And we could replace all of these with double deckers too, I suppose. That's uh, that's an option as well. I just have to start buying double deckers instead of buying all these ones here. It's like a slow process to kind of, like constantly replace your fleet, right? That's what we're looking at. I also have three small buses now. So we'll probably have some routes for them too, maybe up in the more rural areas of Detroit. But enough free seats is the main critique for our organization. So um, I think, yeah, like that's that's the thing. Like people don't necessarily want to stand. Right? There's enough there's enough room for them to take public transit, but they don't necessarily want to stand. They want to sit down. I gotta understand that. All right, so we're in the middle of the night here, been uh, repairing buses and things, getting them going. And I'm seeing that there is a secondhand DL05, and it's a decent discount. It's, this is the bus that has the most seating, um, 128 passenger capacity, but the most the most seats. And so um, I thought, you know, it needs it needs some things, but I think we can make it work. And then, so if they'll take 21.5, we'll go ahead and uh, and take that. So this is our first double decker bus, and um, <clears throat> I think I'll look to have my entire double decker fleet maybe be the secondhand buses but you can see obviously this one needs some work and uh we're gonna we're gonna go in and get this thing repaired so we need an air conditioner a light brake pads and tires and that seems to be that seems to be good enough for now so we'll get that repair started and then we're gonna need to recolor this and design it although I'm not opposed to the way it looks already it's kind of on theme i mean it's still like that you know, black and blue sort of thing going on. But um, we have, uh, I think, six now. Yeah, six brand new on the uh, 0405, 0455. Sorry, I can speak. 0405 Gs. Uh, I got six brand new ones. If I get, if I ever see a second hand one, then I'll, I'll look at to buy it. But it's, it's you just don't get to choose what's available second hand. So you just kind of got to pick it as it's coming. And if you need more buses, then you just got to buy it brand new. That's just how it works. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to update you. We're getting a double decker bus now and I'll, I'll keep looking at opportunities to get more of them. But, um, you know, for now, this is, this is fine. One thing I wish the auto scheduler would do. And, uh, I am going to keep using this because it does save me time. Um, but, uh, one thing I wish it would do is it would stagger the schedules of buses. You, you get sometimes where it's scheduled this bus to have back-to-back -back routes immediately. It just parks and then it's immediately needing to go out again. And then you'll have other buses that are just sitting around. I kind of wish it would juggle them a bit better. Um, so if I go into my shift scheduler for today, I'll probably find a bus that right here, like this one here, it's gonna go from 0455 1600 and then it's going to be used at 1615 this thing is on the road all day i wish it would be like maybe like that you know stagger the shifts a little bit better so that it doesn't use them back to back like this one here is used five minutes it there's just no reason to do that you have other other buses that are available um, that are not scheduled at all. So we should, you know, maybe kind of work them over so that everything is more spread out. That just makes more sense to me. But the auto scheduler doesn't like to do that. It does like to kind of play it really close like that. So um, just as a general critique on something that could, I think, maybe be a bit better for, for my organization and maybe just a little bit better for the player too, because then you don't get buses that are dirty. You know, in dirty interior. I had one that was smoking, uh, you know, with green stuff coming out of the windows. And it parks and then immediately leaves with the green stuff coming out of the windows. That's so like, I didn't have any time to clean it. Because the auto scheduler said it had to go back to work immediately. Um, so, I, and meanwhile, there's like other buses just sitting around doing nothing. Because they're scheduled for later shifts. So, yeah, again, I, I think that's probably a better way to go about it. If it was me, I would, I would do it that way. See, I'm also noticing this. The, this is a sit -o, 
Cedo, whatever you want to call it. This is a small bus. And yet, it's on the Detroit connector route, and it's almost always full. At least, like, you know, top, it was getting topped off. So, I don't exactly know how the auto scheduler is running. Like, now it's almost underutilized, but it was, like, red the entire route through. So, you know, like, it's, it's weird. Like, this one here is the Detroit connector as well. It's maxed out at 128, even though we should be using the 168 buses or 165 buses or whatever. And so, like, this is now just maxed out. It's my, one of my double deckers, right? So, I, the, I don't know. Like, the auto scheduler, it's, um, I don't know. Like, I feel like it, it's better to have buses that are assigned to route specifically. Like, I would like a button that says, you are the Detroit connector. And then you could just schedule it, you know, and then the auto scheduler could just go ahead and, and do the schedules that way. And that way I could also decorate them for specific lines. Like I could have the orange line, the red line, the blue line, etc. We could do colors like that, like a lot of places do. Um, and then I could visually see which buses are on what line and I don't have to click them, but it, it's, I don't know, it's just a little bit weird. So I may not, I may not use the, hmm. I don't know. I, I like the auto scheduler, but I don't. You know, it does. Uh, I have a mixed uh, mixed relationship with it right now. I mean, my ratings are fine. Four point six. They're actually going up, and everybody's five stars. And even the whole thing about not having enough seats is, it's still like not going down anymore. So it it's, it seems like it's probably fine. That's why I that's why I have a mixed relationship with it because it's it seems like it's not that big of a deal that it does that. You know, so I don't know if there's a consequence to, oh, see, look at this bus. This bus needs to leave very, very quickly, right? So I need to repair it. So it has a flat tire. It needs to be, it needs to be repaired. It needs to be cleaned, all that stuff, right? So instead of this bus being on this Ford route, right? This 1350 Ford route, what I should do is find that bus in that route. 1350 board route this I should move this route to be a different bus and I can't it won't let me do it it's already assigned so I just have to find find things like that but if I can get it repaired first I mean it's obviously not going to run its route with a flat tire so now it'll probably leave uh it'll, be, it'll probably be a little bit late for its uh for its route I don't know we'll see maybe not that seems okay. It says it's in bad technical condition, but I'm hoping that this updates as soon as it parks. Nope. Oh, there it goes. I had to click on it again. Okay. So at least it's it's got its tire in time for its route to go. But anyway, yeah. So uh, this is my design for the double deckers. I've called it dub a dub dub, which is a yeah. You know, it's just a play on the the duck. So the duck and the trophy and these are going to be the same. I think I've color matched this. I think it's the same color. And, um, you know, then we'll obviously be constantly switching out these ones, constantly switching out these ones. These ones will all end up being double deckers. Uh, so we'll end up with a fleet of double decker buses uh, over here and over here. So I'm like slowly working on selling all these really high mileage ones, replacing them with the double decker ones. That is the goal. We'll try to get exactly what we paid for on that bus. All right. I think I'm going to leave this video here. Just because mostly just like an update video and a, and a maintenance video to like let you know, hey, I'm still playing this. And uh, we're, you know, we're progressing fine. It's 76%. Um, I do notice that even with six people, I did notice that the wait time went up to about 25 minutes. So I might want to get rid of all these couches here and just make these more desks. And then just get more service people. Um, you don't need more chairs. You need more desks, right? Because they don't sit down unless they have to wait. So if I just reduce the wait time to nothing. Now, does it cost me more for service personnel? Yeah, but like, kind of don't care. 91,000. I kind of don't care. And um, this is really early. I don't know. Saturday Saturdays are slower because there's not as many riders on Saturdays. Surprisingly, I, I thought maybe there would be more riders on the weekends. But... Um, I guess I, I discounted how many people would ride the bus to work as opposed to the buses being mostly something that people ride to get to fun places or to get around on the weekends. So I guess I just sort of discounted uh, how, how important the weekdays were 
uh, relative to uh, the weekends. I suppose that's what I meant to say. But in any case, um, this has been uh, City Bus Manager. Hope you're having a great day. I hope you guys continue to have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.